Well, it's happening, guys. Zach with Easy Custom Ag uh, coming to you here again. We're sitting in Madison County right now. I uh, just got started posting some beans here. I'll turn you around. You got some beautiful 30 inch beans up here. Just hitting them with the uh, post pass. And uh, you see the sprayer coming across the field there. But we're set up here at the tender, and I'm uh, in charge of the tender today. And uh, so I'll just kind of give you a little walk around of it here. We hold 5,000 gallon of water on here between the two tanks. And uh, we got plenty of room on the deck. This is a 48 foot trailer, which is a little big to get in and out of some farm driveways, but we've made it work here for the past few years. And, uh, but we love the space and whatnot. But yeah, we're up here spraying. And uh, man, these beans look awesome. <laughs> but uh, a little bit of weed pressure out there as you can probably see a couple, but get out in there, there is some ragweed. It's just time to, time to hit them. So we're out here doing the Lord's work and taking care of these weeds. So yeah, this is a little bit of the trailer and truck. Um, I said we got plenty of room up here for kind of whatever we want to toss on. As you see right now, we've got four totes and a skid. I could have stuck another skid on there if I wanted to, but I uh, like to have a little bit of room to, to uh, walk around or sit down and sunbathe or whatever you want to do. So you do have a little bit of time between loads. So that's why I'm obviously recording this video. Um, so yeah, I hang out here and I prep the next load. So as soon as he pulls up here, we hook up to the three inch line laying on the ground there and let her eat. And uh, I generally don't time it, but uh, he's in and out of here in less than 10 minutes easy. So we've got a pretty cool system rigged up here. Uh, Buckeye Ag Supply set the trailer up for us. We had an idea of what we wanted, took it to them and let them uh slap it together for us and uh so we've got a big john blue pump on here cast iron wet seal it's, it's pretty slick and uh i had to splurge a little bit and get this handler i looked and looked and looked did some research on them and thought man i think this is the move so uh this unit keeps the chemical from going through your big pump which is good because those big pumps um if you're familiar with them they are not very cheap so anything to you know preserve the life of those pumps you know i love that so this actually uses a vacuum to draw chemical out of the totes i run them through these meters uh this one's an auto batch meter which i just calibrate it punch in it how much i want to run out of it set to 12 gallon right now so yeah when i got the pump running i flip the valve hit the start button and uh, it'll open up this valve and it'll count down from 12 gallon to zero and shut itself off and uh it's pretty sweet just you know uh, it's one less thing to think about you can hit start walk away from it if you need to go dump a jug up here in the inductor or uh anything like that so it's pretty slick and then i added these manual valves in here which is nothing crazy so we just uh crack them open i have them zeroed out every time he pulls up i already know what i uh, need to put in so just sit here and watch them tick until it puts in as much as i want shut them off and flip my valve back up so it's pretty wicked yeah this thing I can fill itself with water and uh it's very quick i mean i if i'm just plumb empty i bet probably between 20 and 25 minutes i've got 5,000 gallon of water on this thing and i'm back out and about again so anything to speed up this process because if you're familiar with application i'll even if you're not i mean efficiency is the name of the game because you've got a very expensive sprayer sitting there and uh you don't want it just to be sitting it doesn't make you any money sitting and uh loses out all of its value sitting still so the whole idea is you got to keep her moving so we've got a pretty simple mix we're putting on today really um just putting some enlist on these beans getting rid of some of these ragweed water hemp um he's got some velvet leaf up here uh pretty heavy in areas that we're gonna take care of so it's a little uh looks a little unorganized on the on the trailer here but there, there's a method to the madness if you believe that or not uh at least do know what's going on everything's got sharpie marks on it looks like a lot of kid up here scribble but uh that's how i try to keep track of everything i jot notes and things down so if you ever end up with a tote that has a bunch of scribble on top of it may or may not be for me i'll start autographing them but uh yeah it's pretty slick and uh i obviously love totes man you don't have to don't have to sling the jugs but obviously see i've got a uh, pallet of jugs which i just love that high use rate jugs you get to just yeah it's it's good good workout that's why i don't go to the gym and i'm lazy but besides that so yeah there is a there is a method to the madness with all this and i just wanted to let you guys in on kind of what's going on you see these trucks sitting out here on the side of the road and you're thinking what the heck are these guys doing well 
they might be bored just sitting there and taking up the road space or uh what have you but they're actually out here waiting on a machine because these guys that run these tender trucks their whole job is to keep that machine moving and uh that's just kind of that's kind of it so we gotta keep these applicators moving it's the right time of year we're gonna get some enlist sprayed and here another four weeks or three or four weeks we're gonna be thinking fungicide because this stuff's moving along but regardless we're just out here doing the lord's work and uh trying to kill some weeds so we will catch you guys on the flip-flops <laughs>